Hey, I've just uh, squared off the floor of my uh, shed here uh, by checking the two diagonals, making sure they're equal, because if it's a rectangle, the diagonal should be equal. Uh, we're just going to confirm now, using the Pythagorean relationship, that those are right angles. Now, of course, you could do that if you imagine that there's this right triangle, the two sides, and then the diagonal forms the triangle. So if it's a right angle there, then the two sides and the hypotenuse that should follow the Pythagorean relationship. So we're going to measure them and then see, uh, make sure it works. All right, so we'll measure this long side first. And let's see what we have here. That looks like 144 and 5 eighths. Okay, now we'll measure it this way. That is just about 123 and a half. And then we're going to measure the diagonal here. Just measure it again to make sure. 190 and a quarter. So hopefully I can remember all those measurements. Now, what I have here, of course, is what every construction person has is a binder and a graphing calculator. Not that you necessarily need either of these, but we're gonna use them. So, let's see here. Let's break down the measurements before I forget. We had 123.5 and we had 144 and 5 eighths. You could figure it out on a calculator, but I'm going to call it 0.65 because that's what 5 eighths is. So if this, if the Pythagorean relationship holds, then that squared and this squared, and you add them together, that should be the same as the diagonal squared, which was 190.25 squared. So we're going to check those two things here. Now, get this out. We have 123.5 squared, and we have 144.65 squared. Gives us that. Now, if we want to see if this is right, I can, I can square this and see if it adds up to that, or I can do the square root of this and it'll tell me how long that side should be. So if I do square root of that number, we're going to be tricky here and do answer. Square root of that answer, 190.18, 190.25. Within the, my abilities to measure here, that's pretty doggone close. So we know that's more or less as close to a right angle as you're going to be able to get. So, knowing that, if we look at it two ways, I can go ahead and start building the rest of the shed.